publishing something you must look at you, you, when you are not an expert in that field you must you look for experts you have six principles to arrive at import duty collection so on at cars. the end of all of this yes. all of these things put together drive the importers to the land that borders. is the truth okay what do you think can be done to ensure that now the ban has been placed but nigerians still need their vehicles hmm. the local assembly plants or those seeking to manufacture inside need some incentives i mean the, the two of them have talked about that but you want to sell your car what do you think should be done <laughs> <laughs> so that the nigerians can move around <laughs> <That necessary. laughs> yeah, anyway necessary. let me start like this i want to uh, take up this point from his point of view that some of the laws in nigeria some of them might be obsolete which is true any obsolete any law that is obsolete is said to be a dead law with me, going by his analysis, there is no functional law in our seaports. That one, let us keep that one there first. Then, on what should be done? You see, in neighboring countries like Kotonu, like we are saying, they also bring in cars. They use cars in that country. It's always very difficult for you to see a custom officer in Kotonu carrying guns and running after their citizens for vehicles that have been cleared in their ports. There are simple things, mechanisms that the government can employ. Anybody that wants to buy a car, at the point of registration, for instance, custom office, even that there is one duty card that we obtain when we clear duties, when we clear these cars. Then there, there is provision for customs to ascertain that duties have been paid even in the licensing office, before plate numbers are issued. Now, what is the point? These cars come in. When they bring, at the verge of registration, these cars can be traced whether duties are paid or not, even at the registration point of these vehicles. That is what, is, that is what happens in our neighboring countries, in Kotonu. There is no car in Kotonu that is on the street that is not, that duties are not paid for. Because by the time they bring in their cars, they give you a temporary registration number, which is the VIN they are trying to implement now. That when you present your document, they see that this VIN is confirmed. When it is confirmed, before they issue the uh, 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 plate number to the vehicle. That makes it very simple. Even the ones that have escaped through the land border, at the point of registration, government through customs in every registration point can still collect these duties without any problems. I don't know whether you understand. understand. Okay, like what he said, cars are trapped there. That's my concern, you know. Because <laughs> 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 the cars are there. <laughs> now, you, you know, one of the reasons why the government... Our cars are trapped there. ...they are taking this decision is about the smugglers. And you agreed that some people are involved in that. I'm not agree because I've not smuggled before. Okay. And I'm saying that. And what, I, the, what I use is, answer, is, is answering that. It's simple. That smuggling it's cannot everywhere. be totally eradicated, but can be reduced to the bare Okay, so minimum. how can government reduce this? I've just said it. Mm. That you don't need to carry guns as far only after people. Put mechanisms in place, like the one I've just suggested. Wherever these cars are coming in from, you know it's, it's certain that you must put registration uh, plate numbers on these vehicles. Is it not true? Then what is the essence of saying you have lost duty when it is possible for you to also track these vehicles without uh, involving the life of custom officers running after smugglers in the bush? When the CG visited Kotono, I was, I was in his entourage. I was one of the people that followed him from Semeboda because that is my area of operation. To Kotonu. One of the reasons that made him to visit Kotonu was that he said when he assumed office, he made a lot of MOU on table that have not been implemented. They has decided to come and see why. Vehicles normally, when you remove them on transit, the Benegal authority will bring it to the border and hand over to Nigeria Customs. But for one reason or the other, it is said that if it is 100 vehicles that is removed on tra via, on a, uh, uh, on, from Kotonu on transit to Nigeria, if it is 100, 20 is always seen. 
Where are the 18? Where are the 18? Okay, and we would expect that, um, as, as we said earlier, we invited uh, some officials from the Nigerian Customs Service and they said they can't make it today, but hopefully they'll be here next week to explain to Nigerians more on this. We'd like to thank you so much for coming on this thank morning. You so much. Indeed. So, as we're back in a moment, please don't go away.